it's an old mining train track. The cuttings look absolutely brilliant. Now we're just into March 2022. A bit of rain yesterday here in Tasmania. I'm the first person on the track this morning. but a little bit damp in places. But we're on a mountain bike or a fat bike. My Nura Witch Jara titanium fat bike. So nice. Heaps of tree ferns, little old bridges. Damp, looking <laughs> wet here. I do love tracks like this, they've got their nice cuttings because they made it obviously for the mining, they used to have horses and carts pushing on the train line, but the cuttings are great, the gradient's perfect really for a nice relaxing ride.
So my back hub is a roll off. It's 14 speed internal gearbox. All synchronized, one up, one down. Change your oil every 5,000 kilometers. Once a year, there goes the Paddy Melon right in front of us. Off it goes. Into here somewhere. There it is. Hello, Mr. Paddy Melon. Bye bye. <laughs> warm at the moment. Must be a northerly one. See these are just brilliant the cuttings. Straight through beautiful tree ferns. If you're near the town of Rosebury, this is just six kilometers, maybe six, seven kilometers from the town. It's not that far from Cradle Mountain, really. I was quite surprised how quick I arrived from Cradle Mountain. It was raining at Cradle Mountain yesterday. Went for a walk, and then it's like, oh, it just kept raining and raining as it does there. Got here, and it was dry. And I was like, oh, I've got to go for a mountain walk. And here we are. Hear the falls. Cable bridge you had across. Wow. Pretty impressive, isn't it? That'd be hard to reload. Jones as far as just fit. Oh, cranks aren't fitting there. There's the falls up there. And this is our suspension bridge. There's not much room for my mountain bike. But Hundred and four meters.
Hey, presto. I think you can ride this. Whew. Okay, it gets rougher from here supposedly and more muddy. That's okay. Still heaps of tree ferns and it's really lush and green and it's not raining. <laughs> This is where the ATVs. This must be it. Walking track falls to and Please take care. Rubbish. End of four-wheel drive access. So you can actually drive a four-wheel drive up to this point. Which means if you want to see the falls, it's only like 100 metres if that. Hmm. Okay, four-wheel drives. That looks like a washout to me. Can you go round? brown mud and you can't see the bottom. I think there's a fair few rocks in the soil so I shouldn't be too so annoying. <laughs> mm. I think it's just a whole drive track. You find your way around on a mountain bike. So, I think it's just turned into a muddy fall drive track with big washouts that you can't get round. So, I feel like submerging my bike. Bike around here. I guess. Yep. And drag it around there. I've decided to turn around. I don't want to just have to carry my bike around every bit, every corner, just because the full drives are done huge washouts. Because that'll be deep. It's no good for my bike. So I'll go back. Because I'm almost at the west coast, that's where I was heading. This was just uh, an off chance I rode and saw this. But 
there's no point in dragging your bike around a whole lot. Well, you can if you want, but it's not fun for me. I'll go to the west coast and I think I can do some more coastal riding. I'll oh, head there. So I like to ride and not have to walk. Walking's okay for a bit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> with the seat, I'd highly recommend the first part to the falls.